Hey guys, Bob Morial here with the Tuning School, and on today's Tech Tuesday, we're going to go through our C6 Corvette and answer a common question that we get. How long does it take the car to recognize when ethanol has been put in the tank? Hey guys, welcome back. We are here today with our 2006 Corvette uh, C6. This is a LS2 uh, six-speed manual car. Uh, was not originally equipped with flex fuel from the factory. And uh, a lot of you guys like to run E85, which is cool because we've seen through our fuels uh, series how much more power you can, be, uh, you can get from it. So in order to uh, properly tune this car, we went ahead and installed a flex fuel conversion kit. Actually, our friends down at 360 Customs in Tampa installed the kit for us. So what does that include? Well, basically that includes the ethanol content sensor, uh, some different uh, hoses and adapters and things to make everything work right. So that the computer, when, it was, when it's pinned into the computer, it will actually know the alcohol content of the fuel, which is really awesome because that makes tuning much easier. So uh, the configuration is good to go. Uh, we went ahead now and just tested everything to make sure everything was reading. We fired up the car and in the scanner you could see it says 9.4% uh, ethanol content, which is pretty standard for pump gas. Pump gas typically contains up to 10% ethanol. So what we're going to do to answer the question of how long does it take to register when you put your E85 in the tank is we're going to go ahead and put the E85 in the tank and fire up the car and just let it idle and then we'll go ahead and watch the scanner and see how long it takes. Now we figure this is a worst case scenario because some guys will install the content sensor somewhere closer to the fuel tank. In our case, ours is installed very close to the fuel rail up by the intake manifold. So this would be a good example for you guys. So let's go ahead and get it fired up. Hey guys, so we put five gallons of E85 in the tank. We had about five gallons of 93 in the car. So we're gonna see what it actually works out to be when it starts to register. Uh, we have the scanner going, so let's go ahead and start the car now. All right, so it's been about a minute and a half to two minutes, and with our Corvette, the ethanol finally made its way up to the composition sensor uh, up by the fuel rail. So uh, why is this important? Well, sometimes people will just drop some fuel in and go straight to the line and make a pass at the drag strip, which is really not something you wanna do. You wanna actually take the time to make sure that everything is reading properly so the computer does know what's going on. Otherwise, the fueling's gonna be wrong and the, the spark advance will be wrong. So uh, in this case, um, you can see here, we ended up here at 43% ethanol content, which is exactly what we expected given the fact that there was already about five gallons of 93 octane in it. And you can see here the AFR commanded was 12.2. If you wanna verify that everything is correct, you can just skip over to your um, calibration, to your tune file here, open up the stoic or stoichiometric air fuel, and you'll see here the percentage table, which tells you at 0% ethanol or alcohol, the air fuel should be 14.7. Uh, and over here at 100%, it's uh, 8.97, which is correct. So for us, we had a 41%, which is going to be right in between these two cells. So we should expect to see a commanded air fuel of between 12.1 and 12.5. And so the ECM had us right here at 12.2, right at 43%. So now that we know, it takes about a minute and a half to two minutes on our vehicle. You might want to just double check yours after you fill up. For more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, stay tuned.